Hi, it's Dr. McCarthy again, and I want to welcome you to Thyroid Treatment Success Secret number five. In this one, we're going to talk about autoimmune triggers. We've been talking a lot about your immune system and autoimmune problems where your immune system attacks yourself. Well, what prompts this? What starts this process? Well, first of all, it starts with genetics. We all have our own genetic makeup. We got half of our genes from mom and half from dad. So if we see that you know, mom's got uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis and dad's got rheumatoid arthritis, they've got lots of um, immune, autoimmune type genes. And if they're passing these things down to you, chances are that you, know, you got those genes. But secondarily, the second part of the equation is your environment. Your genes don't determine exactly what's going to happen to you. It's the genes and the proper environment. And if you've got the proper environment to click those genes on, you're going to express these things just like mom and dad did. My job is to figure out what your triggers are and remove those triggers and we can dampen the expression of those genes. It's a really cool field of science called epigenetics. And this is what we're working on now, finding ways to click off these genes to quiet them down, to modulate them. Some of the triggers that we deal with are pesticides. And we're spraying this stuff by the billions of gallons all over our fields and our lawns, because heaven forbid there's a weed, a little flower growing in the middle of the lawn, we gotta get out the chemicals and let's spray that sucker down. While you're spraying it, you're breathing it in, not good stuff. Parasites, infections, these things right here go unnoticed many times because people say, oh, I've always had bad digestion. You've always had bad digestion because you've always had this parasite. If no one's checked you for a parasite and it just continues to live inside of you, it's never gonna go away and you're never gonna improve your digestion. People will just say, oh, it's irritable bowel syndrome, baloney, get checked. If you've got an infection, bacteria, virus, or a parasite, it's got to be eradicated. That can trigger this autoimmune attack. Next thing is food sensitivities. We've spoken about this before and we'll speak about it some more. If you're eating food that flares up your immune system, it can be a supposedly healthful food, but if you're eating a food that flares up your immune system, it can trigger an autoimmune attack. It's not a good food for you. You've got to get tested and know what foods are okay for you. Next thing, this is a buzzword these days, BPA. Most of you have heard of this probably bisphenol A. It's found in plastics, and we drink it out of our water bottles, and we use it in our Tupperware, and we heat it up in the microwave. It's on the top of our coffee cup, and every time you take a sip of coffee, you're drinking down some bisphenol A. The bisphenol A flares up your immune system, and if taken in large enough doses, can actually create cancer. Bad idea. You want, to, you want to avoid this stuff big time. Last one I'm going to talk about is iodine. Iodine is one of the biggest triggers we see with thyroid autoimmune triggers. It's a bad, bad situation. Many people are given iodine thinking, well, your thyroid needs iodine. If your thyroid's not working the right way, you should take some iodine. That might work for a small percentage of people. But if your problem is an autoimmune condition, remember, it's not a thyroid a true primary thyroid problem. It's an immune system problem. And iodine can lead to big, bad problems that flare up your immune system and actually make your Hashimoto's worse, make your thyroid gland function worse. So here's some of the triggers. If you don't know what's your trigger, you need to call my office right now. Don't suffer a minute longer. Thanks.